Today, we're going to cover the dashboard within Sortly. Now, to access the dashboard, you're going to go on the main navigation panel here and click on Dashboard. Now, the dashboard is going to give you a high-level overview of your current inventory. We also have the reporting tab that gives you an inventory summary, so we've actually expanded a lot of this data into that reporting tab. However, if you want to use the dashboard, this is going to be a great way to see a very high-level overview of what is in your account based on specific folders that you have selected. Now, up at the top here, you currently see an inventory summary. At the current level, we have 414 items, we have 23 folders overall, and 1.1 million in total value. Up here at the top left, or the top right, you can actually click on the folder setup. So if you wanted to filter this results or this data based on specific folders, you could easily do so. So in this case, let's say we didn't want to include any data from our out slash jobs because these items have already been utilized within our system. We could simply uncheck that folder altogether and hit apply. You'll see in real time that your numbers are now reflective of that specific location or folder that you are working with. Now in this case, you can see that the monetary value has changed. We have 39 total items across 10 different folders with a total quantity of almost 10,000 and a monetary value of almost 310,000 here. As we scroll down the page a little bit further, you're going to see recent activity. So this is going to showcase all of the recent activity that has been performed within a singular account. You can see that my colleague Camille in this case has made some adjustments to items, specifically deleting some things that he's played around with on his end. Now you'll see on every field here, you'll have the ability to adjust some filters. So if you wanted to filter by specific activity in general, maybe a specific option where quantity changed, you could select that option here, and then you can hit apply, and the indication of those what has changed based on the quantity will be available to you here. As we scroll down a little bit farther, this is going to show you the nine most recent items that have been updated. So you can see we've clicked into these items recently and made some adjustments to them overall. And then finally, the last area here is going to be for your stock levels. Now here you can go in and set up what we call a min level. So to access this, you can click on the uh, little slider wheel here. That's going to pull up the stock level uh, panel for you where you can go in and make adjustments. So we can set it to at or below that minimum level with zero quantity or custom. We also have the option here to select based on units of measure. We can set our min and our max, and then we can also do an exact value if you would prefer. Based on the settings that we select, you'll be able to see all the items that currently match that threshold. So in this case, in this example, I'm looking for items that have one or fewer quantity associated with them. If you hover over the item, you're going to see where it's located, and you'll see that your mouse becomes a glove, meaning you can click on that item to go directly to it if you have questions on that item specifically. You can view all of the items by clicking on the view all down below, and it's going to show you all the items that meet that threshold specifically. So again, this is really just going to be a high-level overview of the dashboard. This is going to give you a count overview as well as give you some insight on how many items, your total quantity, your folders, and your total value. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to support. Thanks so much.